Hey, it's Dave. Today I want to go more in depth into what I talked about in the last video where I explained how to start a JavaScript website. What we really did in the last video was just download some files and then run them as is. But I um, didn't really explain what was going on, so I'll try to do that today. The first thing you'll want to do is get Sublime Text. You can just Google Sublime Text 2. I think that's what it's called now. I think there's a third one coming out. But once you have that, Windows and Mac, just open it. Go to File, Open. I think in Windows it's uh, Open Folder. And uh, find that folder that you downloaded yesterday. Uh, let's see here. Downloads, Angular Express Seed Master. That's the one. I click on the folder, and then I click Open. Now what that does is it lets me see on the left all the files in that folder. And what I can do is I can click on a file, click on another file, just to go between them. So this is a really good place to do your development work right here. Uh, App.js on the left here is the main file. It states what the program uses. It states uh, some of the functions it does and it also in actually initiates the server itself. Now this is all JavaScript. So what, let's see what's going on here. What happens when I go to terminal? Let me find that folder I was in. Just to reiterate, I type ls to list the files in a directory and then I can type cd to move between files. So I type cd downloads I also can't type ls cd angular express. I hit tab to automatically type it. Enter. All right, now I'm in that folder in the terminal. Let's see what I can do here. Just to make sure it works still, node app.js, enter. And now it's running the server. And just to uh, reiterate how this works, I open my browser just to show you. I type localhost 3000, hit enter. Before I even hit enter, actually, Chrome hit the web server and downloaded everything. But once I hit enter, it actually loads it. And uh, there's the website. If I hit refresh, it loads everything again on the left here. So as you can see in our terminal, that's the web server. Uh, if you go to something like google.com, the web server sits on a server in a server room at Google's headquarters, but for us, we're just running this locally. And when we actually deploy our application to the outside world, we'll upload this server app to another server on the internet that people can access. Because right now, no one can really access it except for you without some special technology going on there. So basically, we got three things usually when we develop a website. We've got our development environment, where we write the code. We've got the terminal where we run the code. And in the case of our website, we have a browser where we can see the website that's running on the server. So let's take a look. OK, I think a good place to start would be with some design work. Remember those two links, view one and view two on the website? Here they are. Let's see if we can change those to be something else. Let's go to index.jade on the left. And where it says view one, let's change that to Dave's bio. And view two to be Dave's blog. Save that. Let's uh, refresh our page. Oops, let's save. There we go, refreshed, and there we go. So clicking on them is still just the same thing. But I want to actually have a bio and a blog there. So let's make those two pages. We already have those two files for partial one and partial two. So let's clear those out and just leave the P. So in partial one, this will be the bio page. So say something like, hello, this is my bio. And let's see, partial two, let's keep that page there. This is my blog. Save that. Oop, I didn't purchase that yet. 
Save that, and then let's see. Let's refresh the page here. Hello, this is my bio. Hello, this is my blog. So let's see. Let's make it a little more interesting. Let's add some blog posts. Um, we don't really have a back end to handle blog posts yet, so let's just manually enter it for now. Let's just manually put some in. So this is Jade, right? This is like HTML. So what you do is you type H1 for the same as H1 in HTML, and then type a title like first post. And then below that, you have the P for paragraph. So I could say, this is my first post. It's a great one, it really is. And let's say H2. Uh, let's call it second post. It's cold outside because it really is. And let's say today I went outside and I didn't want to take my hands out of my pockets. Pockets. All right, this is a great blog. I should really just publish this thing. All right, let's give this a refresh, see what it looks like. Ooh, I just realized I used H2, which actually looks better. Let's go with H2. Let's see that. Much better. This is a great blog, isn't it? Let's get rid of this Angular seed app stuff at the bottom though. Now, why don't I see that here in this partial file? Well, what's happening is, with the way this website's set up, you have this little thing here called div ng view. And when you click on a link, it puts the contents of that link inside that little area where you have the ng view. So to change that part at the bottom where it says Angular Seed App, we just have to delete that in index.jade, like so. And that will automatically update everything you see. So even though I'm going to two different pages, it's gone for both pages. Um, but that code was just in one place. So to give you a better idea of how that works, like let's put this some text in front of it like um, this is before the div for the view. Let's say this is after. So let's run this. So this text is before, this text is after, and this is the contents. So let's try that one more time. Click on Dave's blog, click. There's my blog, and you see this is the before the div for the view, and this is after the div. And everything in between is inside that div. So what's really going on when we click these links here is it's replacing that little area with the contents of these partial files. So that's one way to organize a website and that's how we're going to do it in most of these JavaScript website videos. Um, so that's pretty much it going forward. We're going to be working on these partial files but instead of focusing too much on this Jade stuff, I'm going to go back to this JavaScript and we're going to get down and dirty with making these websites do something more than just displaying information. We're going to make it actually respond to user input uh, get data from the back end, get data from the server, save data. You'll see it all. So, till next time, Dave out.